So today, Brexton and I are making a special Halloween treat. I know lots of you guys have Halloween parties and stuff with the kids to go to and not a lot of time. So this is all store-bought, super easy, right? Did we go to the grocery store? Okay. <laughs> and it's fast, but it looks really impressive. Yeah. And the kids get to help. So, trifles are super pretty. So get a trifle bowl, Home Goods, great place. And then I literally bought chocolate cake from the grocery store and we're gonna make a whole layer of that. Can you help mommy put this all on the bottom? Here, good job. Throw more in, we gotta cover up the whole bottom. Let's see um, who go faster. On your mark, get set, go. Um, mom, my hands are dirty. That's not they can stay dirty. No, they can't. Do you wanna start with the Oreos? Yeah. Okay, so as I put the chocolate cake as the first layer, the next layer is gonna be a mixture of Cool Whip with Oreos whipped into oh, it. Well, it's, cool. uh, uh, it's right there, but you need to help me with the Oreos. So as I place this in here, Brexton is going to help be my Oreo oh, masher. Oh. You need my helper? Okay. So. Bad, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, sit down on your booty because I don't want you to get hurt. Now, put them down. Flat. And then go boom, 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 boom. I'll make you. Great job. Okay, so he does that. I have some already chopped up. So just take a whole bunch of Cool Whip. Just take your Cool Whip softened. Add mashed Oreos. How's your mashing going? Good. Good, can you mash some more? Together, do you wanna help mix? No. No, can you finish mashing those big pieces? So I did. Oh, you're already done? They look pretty good. Okay, so once that's all in there, and you can chop them up so you have bigger Oreo pieces, or you can grind them up and make it really fine. It's kind of whatever your preference is. Okay, so then you're going to put a big layer of that. I'm gonna need your spoon. I keep driving. Why do I keep driving? I have no idea. I need your help with the M&M &M part. So, how we came up with this recipe is M&M's came out with, for Halloween, only at Target, um, cookies and scream M&M's. And they're very, very, very good. They're obviously cookies and cream flavored. And so that was kind of the inspiration behind this. Really as pretty as you want on the sides. And then we're gonna do a layer of the cookies and scream M&M's. You can use your hands, baby. And just sprinkle those as your next layer. I like to make sure that Hang on one sec, baby. They get along the outside so you can see them. Here, throw them on the outside. Perfect. Can you line them up? Here, wait, wait, wait. One sec. Go one by one and put them on the sides. Or that works too. Okay. So after you get that whole layer in, good job. Let's dump it all in. Let's just dump it all in. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to start with the cake layer again. Can you help me with this? I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna do another layer of the Cool Whip with the Oreos in it. And this layer, try to make pretty because it's going um, to be the top. My TV is broken. My TV is broken. Okay, so then after you mash more Oreos real fine, this is kind of the dirt, and then we're gonna build a graveyard scene. So, I like to do Cover all that. I like a little bit of the whipped cream to show through. All right, so once we have the Oreos on top as dirt, I found these dessert little things and I was gonna use these as coffins. So, just gonna lay a few of those. Kind of big, you could also break them up, but we're gonna do three coffins and tombstones. Oops, I don't like that one. Brexton took a bite out of most of these. So we'll layer those there. Okay, so then for the top, I got some edible pen and I just wrote RIP. You could do anything funny in there on these little cookies and you just put them down for the tombstones. So you put those in, really easy. So then on top, you can just place some more M&M's. 
I have these little skeleton candies. You can kind of lay them on the coffins just to be fun, something different. You can use icing, whatever you want. I've obviously lost my little helper, but this is kind of something fun that they could get involved with and decorate and all that good stuff. So you can do as much or as little as you want on top. I'm just gonna put a few skeletons on there just to add some color. Perfect. You can tuck a little ghost in the edge. That one. So if you want to see how it's starting to look, it's looking like a little graveyard. So you can just put out this cute tray. Have some spiders on there. Then Twix and Snickers, they have ghosts and lanterns. So I always like when I'm bringing it to a party to just toss those on there. So in case somebody wants to grab at those. In there, put the rest of the ghosts on. So there you have it. It's super easy, really fun. I mean, honestly, you can go as big or as simple as you want. I think it's a really fun project for kids, even though mine clearly lost interest already. But here's kind of what the finished product looks like. So, um, you know, thanks for checking out the blog. All of the ingredients are listed there. And let me know what else you'd like to see.